Hello everybody. Um, excuse me. I've got a sneeze now. <coughs> it's a good start today. A good start to this clip. Um, right. With two coats in, I'm going to do the third. Um, now I've got a number of things on the go today. Um, So I'm going to try and get as many coats done as I can, but like I said, I've got, I've got a number of things on the go. Um, so I'm not really setting myself a goal, a target, other than get this one coat done. Um, after that, anything else that I manage to get done uh, would be a bonus. Uh, like the, uh, the stain's bubbling up a bit, it shouldn't be... You don't want stain bubbling. It's like paints, a lot of paints you can shake. Stain and varnish, you don't want to shake it. You don't want bubbles. Uh, let's see how we get all the cloth today. Okay, so let's make sure I'm not all stuck down. I'm also going to. Uh, I'm going to do the, the ends only one more time, um, which is similar to what I've done on all the previous uh, runs. Uh, okay, so might as well fast forward. Probably about, about 20 minutes, uh, and then I'll, I'll see if I can get the next coat on. So uh, we'll see how we get on. We'll be back in a bit. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes ish. Uh, so <laughs> I can tell you it's not been that long. Well, it has been 20 minutes, but it's not been that long in terms of it's not been longer than 20 minutes because my fucking gloves are still sweaty. Just 
what I needed. Uh, right, now I don't think I've mentioned it recently, but I know after this shelf, you know what I think, I think I'm going to put on a different pair of gloves because these are a bit nasty at the minute, they need to dry. Um, yeah, of the two shelves that are left after this one, one of them is the top shelf, which has um, an edge all the way around the top, around the sides and the back. And when I built all this and put it together, I did mention that I might try and cut some kind of curvature into the top of it or something like that. Well, now that I've got the carving tools, I think I definitely will do that. I'm contemplating you now, I'm kind of in two minds in the I'm not in two minds. I'm unsure of what to do. Um, because part of me is thinking that what I, one of the things I could do is just get the shelf out at some point and draw whatever shape I want on it uh, on the front and the back or on all sides. And then I can take those bits off from that shelf and I can carve them at any time that I like. The only thing is, the only place I'm going to be doing carving really is here or outside, I suppose. But I'm not going to do it outside. Um, I mean, if I had, you know, if I had um, a parasol uh, and a table and somewhere I could sit out there, then maybe. But we we don't have much for not much for a well, garden from all back. Um, but you know, I was thinking that maybe I could get the carving done at any point but to be honest I haven't really got the space um, to do the carving yet uh, and the process at the moment of doing one shelf at a time is kind of working and if I've got the time to, to carve some wood then really I've got time to stain wood uh, or varnish wood um, or do glue repairs okay but anyway we'll, we'll see what what happens with that I'll see what I decide to do because I, I think I do kind of need to work a bit on my technique of carving anyway we're on to uh, We've done three coats, so we're on to coat number four, and yeah, I'm not going to do the ends anymore, so I should be able to get through uh, this a touch quicker. Either way, I'm still going to go fast forward.
Okay, well that's current number four done. Um, we'll see if I'm able to uh, get any more done today. I don't know. We'll see. Because uh, I'm going to need to uh, do some food at some point. But if I could, if I could get another one done, it would be handy. I mean, to be fair, there's only two more stain to do. Um, so it, I could get them done today, but it depends on how I get on with uh, the other stuff that I'm doing. Anyway, right, time for me to take a break. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. Hello, everybody. Right, um, <clears throat> it's time to try and get. Home number five on. Uh, now I was <coughs> hoping to get cut number six on as well today, but having sort of just remembered that uh, I'm going to need to give it a light sanding and a clean after this coat, I don't know if I will get the sixth one done today. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, because it's, it's quite late in the day. Um, I was up late last night. Shouldn't have been, but I was. And then I was up early this morning and then ended up having to go back to sleep um, after being up for a while. And ended up, well, let's see, I went for, an, for a 20 minute nap at about midday. Yeah, and got up at four. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> right. Okay, so let's see if we can get this sorted. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to need a, a quick sanding before uh, its final coat. But for now, we can fast forward. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be back in a minute. <clears throat> right, I'm going to carry on with the remainder of the penultimate coat. So let's fast forward again.
coat from five dawn which means and I need to leave these while because uh, I need it to harden so I've got to leave it for at least excuse me for at least an hour because uh, I need it to really go off and then give it a light sanding and put the last coat of stain on um, obviously after that I've then got three coats of clear to do um, but to be honest I don't think it would take that long to get those done I mean whether I'll be doing that today highly unlikely um, but I mean three coats of clear should easily be doable in one day um, as long as I've got the time to do it um, so anyway, right, I'm going to leave these to dry and now uh, we'll go back in bed.